James Lovelock is an English scientist, environmentalist, inventor and futurist. He is best known for proposing the Gaia hypothesis, which postulates that the Earth functions as an organism and that it is in some sense alive and shows signs of being a self-regulating system. He published a book on the theory back in 1979, which I read about 18 years ago or so, and I remember that I kind of enjoyed it. James Lovelock was born in 1919, and this book was released in 2019, when he almost was 100 years old. This guy is a genius, no doubt, but is this book a piece of smartness or just some rambling by an old man at the age of 100? Let's find out. In Novacene, the coming age of hyperintelligence, Lovelock argues that the Anthropocene, the age in which humans acquired planetary scale technologies, is after 300 years nearing its end and that a new age, the Novacene, has already begun. According to him, new sentient beings that process this information 10,000 times faster than we do will emerge from our current artificial intelligence systems. For some reason, he refers to these sentient AIs as cyborgs, which I can't really relate to why, as the definition of a cyborg is a mix of a being with both organic and biomechatronic body parts. Lovelock believes in the anthropomorphic principle, meaning that the purpose of the entire universe was to produce intelligent life forms, as us humans, and he follows this by stating that our sole purpose is to give birth to the age of intelligent machines and more or less that we won't be needed afterwards. But Lovelock does not see this as a problem and doesn't think that we should be afraid of the future that might soon be upon us, as this new electronical species and us homo sapiens will work together in the foreseeable future because we have a common goal, which is making sure that the earth is habitable for organic life as it is a necessity for the earth to function, and as such making sure that earth is inhabitable for the both of us. I personally find this as an interesting take, considering the intelligent machines will see us as we see retarded plants, and as such Lovelock think we might be of interest to keep around. I personally think they'll just do as we have done to the rest of the wildlife species on Earth, just slaughter us till extinction. <sighs> Fresh meat. Novacene, The Coming Age of Hyperintelligence, is an accessible short book and a short easy read, clocking in at 172 pages in total, so this is something you will read in less than one day. Together with the hypothesis of benevolent machines, there are a bunch of autobiographical episodes which might interest readers in the history of science, together with an easy, understandable history of how Earth has developed and what impact us humans and the Industrial Revolution has had upon our planet. And Lovelock as a person is an interesting fellow, but the book in itself is a bit underwhelming and actually feels kind of pointless, as there are better books to read within the subject. I would recommend reading Max Tiagmark, who is a bit more fearful regarding the potential takeover of future AIs. The score ends up on 2 out of 5.